Leaders in Itawamba County are still working toward building a new jail. They want more space and they want repairs, among some other improvements. Our Quinton Smith learned more about the impact that positive change could have on them. Tommy, building a new jail has been in the talks for some time now. County leaders say it's something that's badly needed, and with the many problems the current, the current jail has, workers say it makes it frustrating to do their job. And it's a daily battle that we're fighting. Itawamba County Sheriff Chris Dickinson says building a new jail is among the county's top priorities. We have failed our last uh, health department inspection, and there's nothing that we can do about it. I mean, it's just an old jail. The current building is causing many problems for the county, in particular, the need for more space. The jailhouse can hold up to 44 inmates, but they usually have close to 70 inmates on a daily basis. The jail we have is dollaring us to death. We're spending way too much money uh, to other jails, giving, uh, paying uh, to house prisoners. And uh, I think the people of Etiwamba County would want to uh, get some equity in something in Etiwamba County. County leaders are all on board for the new facility. In fact, they even have a projected site in mind. Now, current law requires the jail to be built within one mile from the county courthouse. It will be very close to that, uh, and it may be. I haven't measured it. However, the Senate is currently reviewing a bill that would lift that regulation, which would then open up more site options for the county to build the new jail. And if the project goes through, Sheriff Dickinson says it'll be a beneficial asset to the entire community. This particular site will save the taxpayers a lot of money. And that's what we're trying to do. Now, the oldest part of this facility was built in 1947, and it still houses inmates. Tommy?